He said, Matt's police say led them on a high speed chase, nearly hitting school children and reaching speeds of 90 miles an hour. Now, just months later, he's once again in trouble with the law, this time for robbery. WLKY's Lauren Adams is live from the Clark County Jail with a story you'll only see on WLKY. Lauren? Good evening to you, Vicki. That suspect is back behind bars tonight. Now, that February case you just touched on, as it turns out, Jason Spicer was only behind bars for about a month. He was released on his own recognizance back in March. But tonight, police and prosecutors are labeling him a threat to society, a danger, and they are determined this time around to keep him behind bars. It's 6.30 Tuesday evening when second shift crews at this Austin, Indiana construction site are heading out to work. Returning hours later, one man's truck is gone. It's discovered Wednesday morning just a few miles away on fire. Police say the driver, 28-year-old Jason Spicer, drove it to the Circle K in nearby Henryville to commit a robbery and then tried to destroy the evidence. He's known to us, absolutely. Clark County Deputy Chief Brian Meyer says the clerk also knows Spicer when he enters the store at 3 that morning. Despite putting on a bandana, she recognizes his voice. She described him almost perfectly. She also tells police that while waiting for her to hand over cash, he tells her her time is running out. Clark County Prosecutor Jeremy Mull is familiar with the man police are looking for. He's handling a February case in which Spicer is arrested after a high speed chase. It's just uh, a surefire way to kill innocent people. Court documents reveal Spicer steals one car, wrecks it, but later steals a second to evade police, reaching speeds of 90 miles per hour. He barely avoided hitting two small school children wearing backpacks who were out at the road waiting for their school bus. But in this case, there is no high speed chase. Spicer agrees to meet authorities and surrenders in a grocery store parking lot. And Brian Meyer says if he has his way, there won't ever be another chase. With a prior criminal history such that he has now and with what he's committed today, hopefully it's someone that we can we can keep off the road and um, out of society for a long time to come. Sheriff's deputies tell me Spicer's arrest pretty much fell into place, and that's because of his history. They're very familiar with him, where he lives, where he hangs out, even his family and where his family lives. And in fact, they reached out to a family member earlier this afternoon when they were trying to locate him. And it was a family member, in fact, that helped arrange his surrender at that grocery store around 1.30 this afternoon. We're live tonight in Clark County. Lauren Adams, WLKY News. Thanks, Lauren. In addition to that robbery charge filed today, Jason Spicer also faces auto theft, resisting law enforcement, reckless driving, and criminal recklessness charges for that February 19th case. That case is currently pending in Clark Circuit Court.